Originally constructed as a federal-style house in the 1830s, the Brownlow House was renovated in the 1880s to the Queen Anne-style home that you see today. The federal style was popular from 1780 to 1820 throughout the United States. The main part of the house on the left side was the original house. Dr. Brownlow hired architect J.B. Reed, who added the Queen Anne elements, such as the turret, front porch, and bay windows. A number of notable citizens have resided in this home. The house was constructed for Daniel Judson, one of Ogdensburg's earliest settlers, who came to Ogdensburg in 1806 from Connecticut. His father, David Judson, was a brigadier general in the Connecticut militia. His family established the Judson Bank, where Daniel Judson was the cashier until his death in 1873. The family built and owned the Alverso Building. He married Susan Phelps and had two daughters, Fanny and Elsie. Another notable resident was Dr. John Brownlow, who was born in Melbourne, Quebec, one of nine children. After his education at McGill University and Georgetown University, he entered the American Civil War, serving as an assistant surgeon until illness forced him to leave the military. He entered into practice with Dr. Henry Benton in Ogdensburg in 1864. He married Lucia Daniels, daughter of M.S. and Minnie Daniels. Lucia Daniels Brownlow died in 1869, and a daughter died young as well. He then married Elsie Judson in 1878, daughter of Daniel and Susan Phelps Judson. They had three children, two of whom survived to adulthood. Dr. Brownlow was an avid sportsman and was a city alderman, member of the Board of Education and City Water Board. He was a founding member of the Ogdensburg Club and was active in city life until his untimely death in 1899. Elsie Judson Brownlow was a charter member of the Swakatsi chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. She remained in the house until her death in 1932. Other residents of the home included Arthur and Irene Sansusi, who lived there until the 1950s. Mr. Sansusi was the managing editor of the Ogdensburg Journal. Following the Sansusi family, the Sharon family resided in the home until 1984. Ed Sharon was the manager of the J.J. Newberry store for many years. Currently, Dick and Bonnie Wright reside in the house. The Wright family has operated Pepsi-Cola Ogdensburg bottlers for over 75 years and has been very active in the community, supporting the Richard E. Winter Cancer Center and the Ogdensburg Boys and Girls Club, among other organizations.